This video is brought to you by Artful. It's a quarterly subscription service providing an art school in a box, perfect for beginners or professionals. Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So today I have a Artful unboxing for you and this is their brand new box which features clay. So yeah, let's just open it. So it has a little tab here that we just pull. So I'm going to do that right now. See if we can do it all in one. There we go. So let's open it up and have a look. Right, wow. So first off, I can see the magazine, the Artful magazine, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. We have two packs of Artful air drying clay. We also have a sponge. I presume that's to add texture. We have some Artful black acrylic paint. Some Artful varnish gloss, very nice. We have a bunch of tools and a sketchbook, so I'll just move the box out of the way. So let's zoom in a little bit. So this is the Artful sketchbook. So I presume this is where you will make all your ideas. Sketch all your ideas in. Very nice. Then we have some tools. So I am very, very new to clay. I have never ever used it before. So I'm very out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna be looking up a lot of tutorials and reading through the magazine. You also get a soft brush, artful number three, very smooth. And they also provide a pencil to sketch in your sketchbook. So I think what we should do is just take a look at the magazine, just a quick flip through. I've just turned the pack of clay over and it gives you some instructions saying use a smooth, clean and flat work surface, keep a bowl of cold water nearby to keep clay workable and help slip your joints. Air dry clay is porous and may absorb water even after drying. The glaze will help give your creations good protection. However, outdoor use is not advised. For best results, use within two months of opening. Write the date on the space below. So I was opened on. That's very, very useful. Yep. Now this is what I'm gonna be reading. Probably spend like a few days reading before I get going. So I'm only just gonna quickly flip, flip through. So looks like we've got some techniques there, which is very good. Now, if you are interested in clay, what I will do, <laughs> what I will do is leave a link to all the boxes down below and a direct link to this box as well, because a lot of you might have used clay before and fancy trying it out, or you might also be new to clay like myself and want to give it a go and this kit would be the perfect kit to do that. So yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do now is go away and practice a few things and then come back and we'll make something and see how this box is. I've just got my setup here and I've put down some grease proof, <laughs> grease -proof paper as it said in a tutorial that I watched. I've got a cup of water for the slip stuff. Um, the air drying clay here, the, <laughs> the foil for the armature and a cold pot of water for washing my hands. So I think what we should do is open the clay and try something. I actually want to make a design, which I'll show you in a second. So this is AJ Simpson and they're a true champion of ceramics. And here are their creations. They look like little ooglies and I'm gonna to attempt to make one in this video. I'm sure eventually I'm definitely gonna end up with a full collection of these everywhere. So whilst I begin making this little creature, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the supplies that are included and then a little bit about the history of clay. So in this 
box we got two times 500 milliliters of bags air dry clay we have included air dry clay in the artful box unlike most this type of clay dries naturally without needing to be fired in a kiln it is popular among hobbyists and professional sculptors alike for its versatility and accessibility next up we have a set of four dual ended carving tools while your hands are usually the best tool for sculpting and making, these set of dual ended carving and smoothing tools will be great to help you with creating definition and detail. They also provided artful black acrylic paint, perfect for decorating your creations once they are completely dry. Then they added the artful glossy varnish and when your creations are finished it is always a good idea to protect them. Apply a generous layer of this varnish to give a glossy finish. We have an artful pencil, three round brush paintbrush. Add this paintbrush to your evergreen collection. This brush is great for some detail work and applying coats. An A5 notebook, 20 sheets of 100 GSM light sketching paper, ideal for getting ideas from your head onto paper. A round sponge, small round sponge, ideal for smoothing. And a magazine filled with interviews and tips and tricks. I also want to give a huge shout out to Just Johnny Creations here on YouTube. Hi John if you're watching this. Um, everyone should definitely check out his videos on clay. He's like a master of like clay, like seriously his creations are amazing. So you should definitely check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. So in the magazine it has a top tips section and the first thing it says is preparing your clay. To prepare, take the clay out of the bag and knead it between your hands for a couple of minutes until it's smooth and soft and less sticky. Make sure you wrap up any remaining clay in the bag that you're not using to prevent it from drying. Then it has adding water. So adding water to your clay will make it more malleable and less likely to crack, but too much water will make your clay construction less stable and floppy. You can use a water mister to lightly spray your clay and work surface. And here we are, this is the finished little clay thing. <laughs> now I just have to let it dry and then we'll paint and hopefully it'll be alright. But um, go easy on me because I've never done clay before. <laughs> right, so it's been a couple of days and <laughs> it's fully dry. Very hard as well. There was only like a couple cracks that was on it and that is because I added a bit too much water but that's okay and next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some acrylic paint but first I'm going to use the white so cover it all in white let it dry and then add the colours and for the colours I'm using the Arteza acrylic paint and I kind of want it to be like a yellow orangey colour so yeah let, let's let's start Squeeze out the sponge before using it to flatten any cracks in order to avoid making the clay too damp. And then it says keep it cool. Keep washing your hands regularly with cold water to keep your hands cool. The heat from your hands can overheat the clay and make it too soft to sculpt properly. And the last thing is drying time. So air dry clay is slow drying and can take 12 to 24 hours to dry completely depending on the temperature in the room and the dampness of the clay. To speed up drying time, use a hairdryer on low heat. Moving on to the next page, we have a section about techniques. So throughout the magazine, we will be referring to some of our most common techniques used by artists working with clay. You can use this page as a reference in case you need a reminder of what each technique means. And the first thing is carving. Carving is when you use your hand, fingers and tool to create marks, holes, dents and lines. This is usually used to create texture, detail or to add decoration to your clay. We'd recommend you leave the clay to dry for two to three hours before carving as this will make it much firmer and therefore easier to create distinctive marks. Next up we have kneading. So kneading is a process of removing any air from the clay. Do this by using the palm of your hand and the weight of your body. To half flatten the lump of clay, folding the clay in half and then pressing down again. Repeat this process five to ten times. We also have scarring which you'll see that I did to attach the eyes and the 
line of the lip. So scarring is the technique using to join two different pieces of clay by scratching into the areas that will join together. You make a textured surface that is more likely to hold. This combined with a bit of slip is the best way to ensure your clay sticks together and doesn't fall apart. And lastly we have blending. The best tool for blending are your hands but your curved knife tool is great for blending out larger bumps and cracks from your finished pieces. Leaving your clay to dry for an hour or so will make it easier to blend with this tool. Your sponge is also a good tool for blending. Adding a little water to your sponge and spreading it to your clay will make a nice even finish on your piece. Now I've got to say I really enjoyed working with this box. The magazine had all the tips and tricks inside to help you make clay products and had everything that you needed to get started. It had some lovely clay models in there for inspiration that you can look at and obviously I used that to make my first clay piece and they were all unique in their own way. And in the back of the magazine, it also has a couple tutorials on how to make some little things. So we have a coil pot and the other one is a knot and they're easy to follow because they have pictures and writing at the side of them. And here it is, the finished clay creature that I made using a reference from the book. Um, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments down below. I've never ever done clay before so this is like beginner I guess but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. He just needs a name now. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> it's not finished yet. I need to add the artful gloss. So what it says to do is pour a little bit in a tub. So I just have to get the lid off. Oh my god, it stinks. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to pour a little bit in here. Don't really know how much, but I suppose we could guess. <laughs> I'm just going to take a brush and place it on <laughs> and hopefully this will finish and seal my little creature. Please leave um, name suggestions in the comments below of what this thing should be called. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I do this I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much again to Artful for sponsoring this video. And I'll leave direct links to this box in the description box below. So you can get your own if you would like to get this box. And I'm going to leave a link to all the other Artful boxes out there as well. It's looking really nice, this, um, this gloss is really finishing it off, which is great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Um, thumbs up this oh, thumbs up this video um, subscribe for more and I will see you next time with another video okay bye bye